What sort of relevant experience do you have? Well, none, but I kind of see that as a plus. How is that a plus? Well, if you haven't done something, you haven't picked up any bad habits either. That's some interesting logic. Well, take that as a compliment. Look, I've only just hired Sarah, but I'd be happy to read your CV. You do have a CV. I like to think I'm my own CV. I don't even know what that means. It means I can be anything you need me to be. Ask anyone, I'm a creator of positive energy. And uh, in an all-female environment, I much appreciate visual distraction if you get my drift. Totally. So you'd be like my right-hand guy. Stroke staff motivator. Stroke eye candy. Exactly. So, when do I start? Oh, my days. Seriously. I won't even let you run a bath for me. Ugh. I mean, I would take that as a no. This is our loss, not mine. So, uh, you're looking for a job? Ryan. What? Sorry, what was that? Are you, Are you looking for employment? Um, in the market, yeah. Well, have you ever worked in a restaurant? No, but I've eaten in plenty. Joe must be going soft. You know the new place that I manage? Uh, speed deal. Uh, sp sp speed do dial. Or is it dull? It's close enough. Right. Be there at half one. Try and not be late. All right. Afternoon, sir. What can we do for you? You've got 20 minutes to make me look even better. Put a bag over your head, job done. Oh, burn! <laughs> mm. uh, Maria, any chance? Ooh, uh, can you come back in about an hour? Uh, I can't, I've got work. Looks like you're out of luck then. Oh, you, you do it? Sorry, not a qualified stylist yet. Mm. I'll take the risk. Yeah. I could supervise you if you want. Well, but I'm meant to be meeting Craig. Not being funny, but shouldn't the customer come first? He does have a point. My one o'clock blow dry just cancelled. Ah, perfect. He's all yours. What? She has to learn some time. Oh, I am so ready, Maria. Right, all right, then, as long as Ryan don't mind. Whatever. Take a seat. <laughs> don't worry. You're in safe hands. <laughs> Prepare to have your world rocked. <laughs> Hiya. I'm Ryan. And I'm waiting for my break. Finally decided to rock up, have you? Yeah, I just was trying to make a good impression. By uh, turning up late to your induction? Well, I went for a quick haircut, but uh, that Emma just wouldn't stop talking. Yeah, more like you smooth talking her. <laughs> In the dreams. Now, if it were a mate Bethany. Bethany's off limits. What, you my mum or something? I mean it. I remember what you're like. All right. Calm down. You're not even on a radar. No, it sounds mad, but I reckon she's got a thing for piece of plot. Go and wait in the office. Yes, boss. He grows on you. So do boils. Look, Craig and Bethany are just friends. Trust me. You got one of the good guys. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> now, how epic is that haircut? Yeah, it's great. So have you decided? Uh, no, I think we need a few more minutes. What's your taste preference? Um, I don't really like anything too hot. You must hate yourself when you look in the mirror, then. Um, the lamb chaplet kebabs are immense. So's the palate panna. Take your time. Mm, I reckon you're in with a shot. Mm, don't even go there. <laughs> OK, what's up? Nothing. Just thinking about Craig. Oh. No, not like that. I worry about him coping. How come? Well, he's already really affected by the stuff he saw as a special constable. What's it going to be like when he's seeing it day in, day out? Well, aren't police trained to deal with stuff like that? Yeah, but it's not that easy. Take it from me. Some things you just can't unsee. You don't think he's up to it? No, I never said that. I think Craig will be a fantastic policeman. Well, then, I'm sure he'll work it out. Thank you. Sorry.